Good afternoon, this is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, August 17th, 2020. This is the first daily update I've filmed in two weeks. We recorded all of that Seven Principles series in one go in two afternoons at the church, and so it's lovely to be back doing these relatively live, and it's a little bit different. So I want to take a moment at the beginning of this week to just update sort of on, on where we are right now. As a church, we've been spending the summer getting ready for this fall and the beginning of our programmatic year. Online worship and presence has gone for us from being an adaptation to quickly unfolding events to a plan that we're doing intentionally during this year. Here in Lincoln, Nebraska, the coronavirus is still very much with us. We saw a peak in cases about three weeks ago, which the health department responded to by instituting a mask mandate. And since that happened, the weekly cases have diminished significantly from a peak that was over 350 cases in a week to 158 cases last week. But with infections still that high, we know that we have a long way to go. And it's worth noting as well that this month, both the public school system and the university are opening for modified in-person instruction. And we don't know yet what effect that will have on the pandemic. Tonight is the beginning of the Democratic National Convention, originally planned for Milwaukee, but now happening virtually. And after that will be the Republican National Convention and then the intensity of the fall election season. And we are still grappling with the aftermath of the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and so many others. In short, this is a very tense, uncertain time. So in a sermon yesterday, I talked about hope in this time of uncertainty. And, and that's where I'd like to spend this week asking, where do you find hope right now? Send your thoughts or questions in either as comments on this YouTube video or email me directly at minister at unitarianlincoln.org and we'll spend the week sharing some of those places of hope in the midst of this time. I look forward to hearing from you and finding some hope together. See you tomorrow.